Hello, hello. Welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa. Today we are back in the white bathroom because I'm showing you how I like to do my everyday simple makeup routine. It's pretty natural as always, but I just need to get something on my skin and just get my week started. I just came back from my best friend's graduation weekend. I went out a lot. I'm not feeling my best. I'm not looking my best. So we need to do something about this. So I want to show you just how I like to do, you know, my simple routine that just gets me out the door. It enhances my features. It's nothing complicated. It is perfect for every day. So if you're looking for a new updated everyday makeup routine or you just want to hang out for a little while, this is a video for you, my friend. Let's put some makeup on the face and let's talk beauty. I don't really have like a headband or anything that I can like my hair back with okay that's fine i didn't even wet my sponge you guys i'm so unprepared for this so i'm gonna get started whenever i'm not feeling my best i usually just like to add a little bit of something to conceal i don't want to go all over the face with coverage because i still want to look natural so i'm just gonna be wearing some concealer this is the house lab tri-clone concealer i have the shade 11. i'm just applying this to like the points where i need the most coverage for me that is always the under eyes I have really bad under eyes and then wherever there's a bit of redness I'll add this but it won't go all over the, the skin you know that makes it a little bit less natural than I would like it to be I'm blending it out with a sponge simply because it's the easiest and quickest thing for me to do and on days when I want simple and uncomplicated this is just a lifesaver I also have quite a few breakouts around my chin, so I want to add some extra coverage there, which sucks, but like, just want to even out the skin a little bit more, you know what I mean? I also have a huge freaking breakout right in my cupid's bow. We're going to cover that up a bit. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of powder to set all over. I'm visiting my mom in Texas right now and it's really hot out so I just kind of need a powder. I'm using this puff from Sephora which I bought thinking it was going to be small. It's not small so I'm still using it though. I'm really liking it. I'm just going to be adding this to the T-zone mainly where I just apply the concealer. And then I'm just setting that. I don't want to go too crazy with the powder because I still want this to look very, very natural, but I do want to make sure it's set. So, you know, if you have drier skin, this is a step you can skip. For me, it's necessary though. Okay, moving on, let's do brows. Let's do brows because my brows are not looking great. They need to be shaped. They need to be tweezed. They're not okay. So I'm not going to be filling them in. I'm going to keep it really, really, really simple and just like, just fluff them up a little and shape them up a little so that they look, you know, nice and tame, but it's not crazy. And I'm not highlighting anything that I don't want to be highlighted. Beautiful. You can also use like a tinted one. Sometimes I will, but right now I only have like this Rare Beauty Flexible Lifting Gel, which I love and it's clear and it works for me. Like, especially if I'm doing very, very minimal makeup, I don't have to worry about it. So that's the brows done. For the cheeks, I do, Honestly, this is where I want to focus on the most because I feel like this is what helps enhance everything the most. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. Let me find my bronzer brush amidst the chaos. I'm using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. This is the only bronzer I brought with me, but it's like my favorite bronzer ever since I got it like about a month ago. So I'm just applying a little bit of this. I really like this for every day because it is more natural. It is balmier. So it melts into the skin and it just adds a warmth without looking too harsh. So I really, really like that. TBH. It's so easy too. Like you can just chuck it on and like it blends by itself basically. So I'm going to do this a little bit everywhere. Fake a little bit of a sunburn because why not? And then add a little bit here. I don't know if I should, I have a lot of breakouts, but mm, I already did it, so who cares? 
For blush, again, same concept. I'm adding a little bit to have dimension to the skin. Also, ever since I did the Anne Hathaway makeup transformation, I've been like obsessed with doing a bit more blush than I was using. So I'm gonna be using the NARS Dolce Vita uh, After Glow Liquid Blush. This is a mini. And I'm just applying it to the back of my hand and really like priming the brush so that it goes on as natural as possibly. And I'm like focusing it here. I'm not taking it all the way back. I know I said that I hated my blush all the way to the apples of my cheeks, but <laughs> I'm actually really loving it recently. So we're doing that. And it might look like a lot right now. It might not look super natural, but it'll fade in a few minutes, honestly, like blush fades really quickly. But because I want this to be more of like a natural look, I don't mind the blush fading and just leaving like a slight tint, you know what I mean? So. And then to finish the cheeks off, I freaking forgot my freckle pen at home, okay? I didn't bring it on my trip and I'm devastated. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Build a Brow in Ash Brown and I'm just gonna, I need to get really close to you guys because I can't see my own beauty spots. I just wanna highlight them a little and maybe do a bit of like faux freckles with this to my nose. I know it's not the same effect, but um, you know. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara and on the days when I want it to be super, super, super natural, all I'm gonna do is grab a mascara. I'm using the Queen Lucia 2053 mascara, which honestly, I'm loving. I don't know if I featured it yet or not, but I'm loving this mascara so much. It can be, more natural or you can build it up to be a lot more voluminous but what i like to do when i'm simply just like enhancing my face and i don't want to do a lot i want it to be natural and simple i will grab the mascara and just do a little bit to like i won't go to the root i'll just do a little bit to the tips of my lashes and that really helps just add a little bit something extra to the eye, but it doesn't add a lot, so it still looks super, super natural. If you're not like a natural mascara owner, if you don't have a lot of natural mascaras, but you still want a natural look, I feel like this is the best trick that you can use. Okay, and once that's done, all that's left to do is lips. Honestly, these are the simplest. Sometimes I'll just do like a chapstick or like a tinted lip balm of sorts today. I wanna just elevate it slightly because I wanna feel better about myself. So I'm doing a bit of a lip liner. I'm using my Make It Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. And I'm, again, getting really close to you and lining just a bit. I just want it to look, you know, defined. And the key to doing this is finding a My Lips But Better color. So a color of lip liner that is really, really close to your lips, maybe like a shade darker to add a bit of contrast so that it looks very, very natural. And then I'm going to add the Kosa's Wet Lip Oil in Unbuttoned. This is a mini. They gave it to me for my birthday at Sephora. And it's again, a My Lips But Better shade. So I'm just gonna apply a bit of this to blend in the lip liner. Should I do a bit of a setting spray? I think so. I want this to last me all day, so we're going with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. And just adding a bit of this. Let me get up close and personal to show you. This is the finished look. Again, nothing to write home about. It is super, super, super simple. My hair is not helping out, but whenever I want to feel better, you know, like right now my skin was not looking its best. So I just want to enhance things a little bit, but not have to worry about wearing a lot of makeup. This is just what I love doing. And I feel like it's super recreatable. Anyone can do it with what they have at home. What do you guys think? I like it. Okay, now all that's left to do is like slightly fix up the hair, which is never gonna be fixed. So we have to live with what we have. But thank you for coming along with me. I hope this video was helpful if you were looking for some simple makeup inspo. And yeah, I feel so much better now. So thank you for joining me. I love you so, so much. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content that you can actually relate to. Because yeah, we upload videos every week. We're just hanging out over here. So if you wanna hang out more, you know what to do. But thank you so, so much for watching, for coming along with me and helping me make myself feel and look more presentable. I love you still so much and I hope to see you right here for my next one. Bye. Mwah.